This is how I got millions of website visitors for free with a lazy content creation hack. Listen, I know that creating content can be a real pain, but imagine if you could ethically and legally use other people's content. How useful would that be? Well, today I'm going to show you how one of my websites gets millions of visitors doing exactly that. And also if you stay until the end, I will give you a free bonus on how I got over 30,000 website visitors every day for free. Okay, so let's go to the computer and get started. Okay, so this is an easy content creation hack. We're going to use content curation. So we're going to take other people's content. Now, there are a few ways to repurpose other people's content. The first way is to use news reports. So we go out, we see what news agencies are talking about, and we take some of their content from multiple sources and we patch it together to create something original. We can also do the same thing with blog posts and we can even use social media posts. So we embed tweets and Facebook posts, Instagram, or we can go to YouTube and embed YouTube videos to create the type of narrative that we want to convey. So the first thing that we really have to do is get some inspiration. We need to find an angle to work. So head over to Google, type in Google News. So what we're going to do is search Google News for something relating to your niche. So if I'm in digital marketing, I could go digital marketing and use whatever comes back as a starting point. So we're not going to copy any of these uh, stories directly. What we're going to do is be inspired by them. So have a look through the search results page and see if you can spot any, any patterns because this is going to tell you what people are concerned about and what people are talking about in your niche right now. So we can see that trends seems to be of interest in the digital marketing industry at the moment because we've got a few, so maybe three, four, maybe uh, posts or, or news, uh, news, uh, news articles, excuse me, about uh, digital marketing trends. So this could be the basis of a new piece of content. So if we have a look at the top one, let's open that up in a new tab. If we go down, let's grab this one as well. And wherever we, we can find the word trends, skills every digital marketer should have. Maybe, maybe that could be interesting as well. If we go down to five digital marketing trends. So really you want to get as much data as you can and let's just leave it at that for the moment. So let's go through some of these. So top digital marketing trends that prevailed in 2020. So what we might want to do is grab, let's say this, this piece of content here, just a paragraph, shoppable posts, copy that. Now head over to your article. Let's give it a strong title. So really we would write the title at the end once we have all the content compiled. So we might say something like 10 digital marketing trends for 2020. Let's, let's uh, make sure that this piece of content is evergreen. So uh, 10 digital marketing trends for the, oops, the coming year. Let's go with that for the moment. And then we would paste in that paragraph like so. And now we would wrap this in a quote tag. So grab that, go down to quote, grab that. So that tells Google that this is not our piece of content. If we go back to the source, we grab the URL from the address bar and we add that to our blog post. So we call it source and then we link, make sure it opens in a new tab and then add that. Now for bonus points, as far as Google is concerned, you might want to add some original content here. Okay. And you do that for each one. So let's go through the next article. 
So we might want to take that piece of content. So again, just a paragraph and we paste it in, wrap it in quotes like that. Again, you would add some original content here like that. So explaining why you believe that is important. So you would do that maybe 10 times and that is the patchwork method. Now, what I would encourage you to do at this stage is as you are going through all of these articles, looking for content that you can ethically and legally take, have a look for quotes. So if you can get quotes from someone who's mentioned or, or featured in one of these articles or even the author it's itself. So what you could do is take a piece of their content. So this chap here and you could paste a quote from them into the article link to them and their website, obviously, and then you can tag them on social media or you can drop them an email and say, Hey, I loved your article. Uh, I've just quoted you here. Thought I'd let you know, make, I'm just making sure everything's cool with you, with you for me to uh, quote you. And then what can sometimes happen is they'll give you a thumbs up and say, yeah, that's absolutely cool. Thank you. And then they might link to you or give you a shout out on social media. Either way, you've started a conversation with someone else in your industry, someone that presumably has a following and relationships are really what what's going to give you that shortcut to success. It's really about building relationships with people. Now, me as an introvert, I have issues with that. I, I, I really struggle with outreach and that kind of stuff. So I know from hands on experience, you can achieve enormous levels of success without doing any kind of outreach. But, you know, it's going to happen for you faster if you uh, if you implement this type of strategy. So that's using news articles. We can also do, do the same thing here with blog posts. So we can head to a website like all top, which is a mix of blog and news. So you'll see the front page is mostly news related content, but we have this navigation bar at the top. So we can drill down into specific niches. So let's say if we want to go directly to business, click on that and get rid of the, the annoying pop-up ad thingy. And you're going to get content directly related to that niche. And there's, there's a whole bunch of different topics and niches here as well. So you, you might want to go with health or whatever is relevant to you. You're going to find blogs and news agencies reporting about things that are relevant to your industry. So here we have health sites and blogs underneath. So it's just going to give you a whole ton of data to use. Another site to help you find blogs and news agencies is called Feedly. So it's F double -E -D -L -Y com. Feedly It's free to use. And basically if we go to a section here, here, here you can see that I've set up my feeds. So I've got one for marketing. So anything that happens, on marketing websites, blogs, and news agencies, it pulls it directly into my feed here. And to create one of these feeds, I encourage you to create uh, niche specific feeds. So the very simple to create, click this create new feed button there, give it a title. So we might want to go with something like SEO, click save. And now we can start populating that feed with relevant content. So click add content. We can search by topic, website or, or SS link. So let's say we want to go with search. Oh, let's, let's go something a little bit more specific. Let's go with Google and we'll find all types of content that relate to Google. So the official Google blog, click follow, and then we can add that to the feed there. So now, Anytime Google publishes on their official blog, we'll be notified in our feed. And then you would just go through and add as many of these sources as you like. So let me show you how to do the same thing 
with social media. So if we head over to Twitter, if we can see uh, some tweets that we want to embed, here we have this kebab menu icon thingy. If you click that, you're going to have, where is it? It's embed tweet. Click on that. It will give you code to copy, copy that. Now you can go to your article and you can paste in, let's give ourselves some space. Now we can paste in that code. So if we add a custom, custom HTML block, let me find it for you. So where is it? We can go code. Is it code or HTML? I think it's HTML, custom HTML, paste that in there and you should be good to go. However, WordPress has a really nice feature where you can just paste in the URL of your tweet and it will, it will automatically do all this for you. And if we have a look at the preview of this, there we can see we've got the, uh, the curated content here from news websites. And there we have the social media embed there. Now we can do the same thing with Instagram. If we go to Instagram, you've got these kebab icons here, the menu thing. If you click on that, you can go to embed, copy embed code, and now go back to your article and well, let's add it directly in here so we don't have to mess around with creating another block. So there you go. It's going to paste in a whole bunch of code and then we can preview that and there it's worked. And it's also pulled in comments and uh, a bunch of other copy for us as well. Okay, let me show you how to do the same thing with YouTube. So we obviously search for something relevant, but we have this, this filter menu. If you click that, because we want to show something that is of enormous value to our audience. So we only want to choose videos that we know are going to be good. So we can choose the upload date. I would say let's go with maybe this year. So, or this month, I'd go with w one of those because that gives the videos enough time to get some traction. And really it's going to allow you to pick the best ones available. So let's go with this month. Let's add that. Then we can add sort by relevance. Maybe, maybe you could go either rating or view count. So if you go view count, you're getting videos that are no more than a month old and have lots of views. So now you could, you could just choose this one. Maybe again with WordPress, we can just paste in the URL and it's going to automatically pull in the video for you. But if you're not using WordPress, then you have this share button, click that, go to embed. It's going to, create an iframe code for you. You can play around with some of the options there. I'd just leave them as default and then copy that. And we would paste in that custom HTML code, or you would just paste in the URL. Let me show you that. And there you can see it's pulled in both and you can apply these different strategies that I've given you today to a single piece of content. So you can have a piece of content that that brings in tweets, that brings in YouTube videos, news articles or blog posts. So when you do that on a consistent basis, who knows what kind of amazing results you can get. Like Matt, he's making millions of dollars online for himself and for his family, thanks to my training. And if you want to know the secret and you really are serious about making money on the Internet, then you're going to need more web traffic. So I will give you the secret traffic methods I never share anywhere else for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. And I'll put a link to that in the description too. And if you found today's tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel to hit that little notification bell. So you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.